Konye Ola Onikpekun, Majo Yodwe, passed away on the 25th of November 2020 after a brief illness. The former colonel is survived by five children, seven grandchildren, and was 70 years of age at his passing. Colonel Majo Yodbe was a seasoned security consultant who lent his voice to the insecurity of the country. The funeral service took place on the 18th of December at the Al CCG Tabernacle of David Aja Legal and the interment at the Yukui Cemetery. May his gentle soul rest in peace. father in the, in the true sense who was absolutely there for us till the very end um, in the last moments before he got ill that I spent with him he was full of energy we were working on a project together I used to you know do his slides and all that he was my daughter is quite fond of him she's four years old and when I broke the news to her she was hurt but of course you know there's a limit to what a child can understand in all um, my siblings and I are grateful because he was really a fantastic father. Too many, too many um, stories to tell. So we're grateful, we're most grateful. We are sad because of course, if we could choose, we'd have him around and we wouldn't be doing this today. We'd rather be having a party or just hanging out with him. Um, but we recognize that this is life, you know. We come and we go and we're so grateful that we had him as long as we did. She was very cheerful, very, very happy individual. I think the most significant part for me is the fact that he actually loved this country, uh, loved this country, loved the Nigerian army, obviously loved his family, had a very a large extended family, um, obviously took care of most of them, but, but his real passion was the Nigerian army and his real passion was for this country. I mean, he served in Lebanon, served in Syria, uh, Syria alone, served in Liberia. And an, an active service as well, where he probably should have lost his life. We're talking about years ago, but God kept him. So for us, we're very happy in the sense that not that he's passed, but the fact that he lived a life worth living, you know, and he's got a legacy and impact that we can hopefully look up to, uh, you know, and we, we're fortunate enough to bury him in this way. So, you know, yes, we would miss him, but, you know, there'll be no sorrow. And when he's, you're talking about numbering your days, the Bible reminds us or wants to put before us to help us understand the brevity of time, the reality of death.
The thing I always say that's the best thing about my dad is his, his generosity. He was extremely generous. He always gave. It's just something that he always did. He didn't really take any thought to his own life. You know, he just just really into helping people and being there for people. And although, yeah, it's painful, but we must remember the positives. We must remember that we're fortunate to have him this long. The people who lose their parents at a very young age, we're lucky to have him. He saw everybody got married. He met seven of his grandchildren. We're grateful. Somebody, uh, I love you know, I loved to get close to, and we moved together a lot, especially towards the end, you know, because he was someone you always learn something from, you know, in terms of uh, intelligence, brilliance, he has it all. Who are we to query the will of God if this is how God has willed it? Well, so be it. But our prayer is that uh, may you so rest in peace.